How's it going everyone? Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Today we're going to be talking about PoE and my experience and my quick no BS review about the game. So let's get it. So PoE is a game that I played or dabbed into many times in the past, but never got even close to finishing Act 1 or very close to finishing Act 1. I never beat it. But this season I tried to say, I'm going to tell myself I'm, I'm going to play PoE. This season seems pretty awesome. Let me try it out. And I've gotten to Act 3. That's as far as I've gotten so far. So it just the scaling of this game feels awesome. The immersion in this game, the power fantasy in this game is definitely there. I think it exceeds Diablo 4 in that way. Uh, the gem system is pretty interesting. It's something that kept me away for a while with this game. Like you had to find certain pieces of armor. They had to have the right colored gem slots for you to use those gems correctly. And the gems are essentially your abilities. So if you guys are familiar with Final Fantasy VII, the original game, Final Fantasy Remake, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, these gems essentially are materia. They're materia slots and they're color coded. So if you have a, a green gem, it goes in where obviously a piece of your armor or weapon has a green slot, you put it in there and it has an ability to it. Me thinking of it like that, like, oh, the materia slots, just made me closely connect it way faster because I've done that system so many times in Final Fantasy 7. So it just made it way easier. So if you guys have dabbed into Final Fantasy 7 at all, then you should be quite familiar with this game. It's just that you can't slot them in any single slot. It has to be color coded. So there's that difference between PoE and Final Fantasy 7, obviously. I'm having a fun time with this game. Let me see if I could fast forward in my stream a bit. I'm just like wrecking fools, just throwing down arrows, killing mobs super fast. This is just me learning the game and just seeing what works. Definitely not an overpower build, but I was just clearing screens, just shooting arrows up from above, raining arrows down and just wrecking them. And just learning how to use my movement better, using my flask or just rush through these maps way quicker because I think uh, movement speed is definitely much more priority in this game than I would say Diablo, even though Diablo 4 is the faster you move, the better. But I feel like the maps are a little bit bigger. They're not like dungeons in Diablo 4. So if you guys are skeptical about just dabbing your toe into PoE, guess what? It's a free to play game. You get to try it out, see how you feel. I think you'll like it, especially with this league. And I think you guys especially like Path of Exile 2 that is coming out very soon. Well, there's going to be a beta in November. I think a lot of people are going to like that game. It's going to, I think it's going to be way easier. The gem systems is not going to be crazy. There's not going to be slotted systems in your armor. It's actually just going to be like an ability kind of like page. You get to slot what abilities you want. And there's not, so you don't have to select a gem into a piece of gear. So I think it's going to be way more user friendly than Path of Exile 1. It's going to be a lot more people are going to be able to just dip their toe in and try it. I think it'll be easier for them. A lot more, a lot more of the masses are going to be able to enjoy it without saying, I don't get the gem system because I didn't really like the gem system either. When I first tried the game, I was like, ah, I don't have like a skill tree. I just have gems and that these gems have abilities. Like I didn't really like that until like I played this season. I was like, oh, I really like it. Now I can see where the power fantasy comes from. And now I can see how many more builds you can create in this game versus like a regular Diablo game. So it's that scale. Once you get over that hump, I think this game just exceeds your expectations and you're just going to have a fun time. In short, should you play Path of Exile, this new league, Settlers of Calgar? Yes. At least try it out. Get over that hump like I did. And you're going to see the possibilities of this game are just going to be ever growing. And the passive skill tree is freaking huge. So you can just imagine like where you could take your character and just look, maybe look at build guides. If you don't want to just create your own, just look at build guides and see how they do it. And I guarantee you, you're going to have a fun time. Path of Exile. Can't wait to keep playing it. Like I said, I'm on act three. I never got past act one before in my previous playthroughs. So that's just a testament on how much this game could draw you in, how much you could just go ham with your builds. Look at me just raining down arrows and just mopping the floor. I don't even that high level yet. So yeah, play it. I'm excited for Path of Exile in the future. It has Path of Exile 2 is going to be a fun one. I'm, I'm excited about that one coming out soon this year so yeah just excited about the whole genre and like where these arpgs are coming and since this game is doing great since the last epoch's doing great 
now Blizzard and Diablo 4, they're like, all right, we got to step it up too. So this competition with Last League Pack, Path of Exile and Path of Exile 2 coming out and Diablo, I think it's a healthy competition. And I think we're all going to benefit from it because they're like, we have to step up our game now. We're not the top of the leaderboard anymore. We have to just keep fighting. And I think that's that creativity and that push with these companies is just going to make better experiences for us the consumers down the road. All right, guys, check out Path of Exile, the newest league, Settlers of Calgary. You're going to love it. Just get over that hump and you're going to have a fun time. So take it easy. Stay risen, stay rising. Love y'all to pieces. The next time, peace. peace.